Sandy Hook, the saddest tragedy ever. Among rampage shooting killings, the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, which occurred on 14th December 2012, galvanized public interest. But do you know what happened to that school? If you want to know, watch this video until the end and subscribe for more. Here we begin. The Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting happened on December 14, 2012 in Newton, Connecticut, United States. Here, 20-year-old Adam Lanza shot and assassinated 26 people. The most tragic of this shooting was 20 of the fatalities were children between 6 and 7 years old. The other 6 casualties were grown-up staff members. It will surprise you that earlier that day, before the killer was driving at the school, he shot and assassinated his mother at their Newton residence. As first, responders entered the school, we got to see that Lanza had shot himself in the head. This incident is regarded as the most toxic mass shooting that occurred at an elementary school in US history and the fourth deadliest mass shooting in the world. Furthermore, this shooting created quite an uprising in the USA as many questioned the administrators. In addition, this shooting provoked renewed discussion about gun control in the United States comprising recommendations to make the background check policy universal and for new national and state gun legislation prohibiting the deal and manufacture of specific categories of semi-automatic firearms and magazines which can carry more than 10 sessions of ammunition. Sandy Hook stands out because of a single incident's huge number of casualties. The nihilistic nature of these purposeful, planned activities and the aspect of the victims, young, honest, defenseless children and the courageous educators and school staff who perish guarding them cannot be neglected. The Newton shooting was shortly labeled as a fundamentally different incident of gun turmoil. Turmoil. We know that Newton persuades an influx of new citizens who transplant their households to benefit themselves from the excellent schools and wholesome milieu. The Sandy Hook massacre gripped interest from the ferry top. After a few hours after the shooting, Newton first selectman E. Lodra, the town's highest-ranking administrator, appeared before the news cameras. She was rapidly followed by the appearance of Connecticut Governor Daniel Malloy, but President Barack Obama heightened the Sandy Hook memo to national priority importance. In fact, a specific feature of Sandy Hook was the sitting president's immediate and personal interests. Two days after this massive shooting on December 16, 2012, the president arrived in Newton to confront the casualties' family members. Then, at the close of a nationally publicized ecumenical prayer service, the president convened the entire country to give relief and assistance to the grieving Newton population. Furthermore, on 12 February 2013, two months after the Newton killing, President Obama provided his State of the Union lecture with family members of the Newton casualties who were seated in the galleries. In his statements, the president spoke rapidly to the tipping point nature of Newton when he explained that he knew this was not the first time. Their nation disputed how to decrease gun unrest, but that time was different. How a highly focalized act of mass turmoil like the Sandy Hook mass shooting comes to be overstated to establish community-wide or even nationwide, psychological effects have been intuitively developed. Clearly, you will find that while firearm casualties are very common, rampage school shooting deaths are periodic and few. Today, in the USA, more than 85 persons perish by firearm from midnight to midnight. Not only this, more than half of these casualties will be self-inflicted suicides and more than 40% will be murdered. Therefore, the counter again happens every midnight and the casualty tolls recounts each day. Many reports are studying these cases when exploration implies that shooting deaths that happen in school settings exemplify just 0.12% of national firearm killings. Most of these occurrences are targeted shootings in which the killer purposefully seeks out and murders one or more particular individuals. There were so many cases of school-based rampage or mass murder shooting incidents like Sandy Hook. Some more mass shootings in schools include Columbine High School and Virginia Tech University, but let me tell you that it accounts for just about one-eighth of school shooting incidents and 0.04% of national firearm killings. Despite the truth that the United States has the highest firearm suicide along with homicide and total firearm mortality rates in the advanced world, most says the populace is unconscious of the constant daily drumbeat of gun casualties. We can conclude that Sandy Hook was extraordinary and served and got the nation talking. So that's all for today. Did you find the Sandy Hook story tragic? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and smash the bell icon to get more uploads like this. Take care and see you soon.